Hey everybody. So here is my video for blog post number two. So a little background on what I did, if this is your first time watching is that I basically made a loot crate for sporting goods for kids. And it's basically, they can get a lot of clothes for a discounted price and they're able to get it since kids are always growing up and changing sizes so quickly. So, <clears throat> Now that we talked about the base of the structure of the business, we need to identify who we're competing against. And since there's not a service on the market right now that offers this, we have to look a little bit broader. So basically we're looking at Academy, Dick Sporting Goods, and the outlet stores for Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour, and other outlet stores of that nature. So we have to be able to break into these already established markets, these brick and mortar established markets, and challenge and challenge them and be able to break through and gain the trust of the customers. We wanna make sure that they can turn to us when they need sporting goods for their children. They, we don't want them to go there. We want them to continue to subscribe to our subscription so they continue to get a good product with us. I feel that each of the competitor has its own way of appealing to the masses. Academy really pushes that family atmosphere, but at the same time, they have great deals around the store and they have such a variety of things that you can get at the store that I feel like it makes, it, it makes them why they're successful today. It seems Dix relies on multiple things. They really use the power of the commercial. They make really heavy hitting, inspiring commercials that makes you want to get involved in sports. So I think they do a really good job at that. They also are trying to change pace and sell clothes, not just for sports, but everyday wear, it seems like, as of recently of their most recent commercials. And the last thing they really rely on is their brand. A lot of people know Dick's Sporting Goods. So when you think, oh, I need to go in and grab this, boom, let's go to Dick's real fast if you don't have an academy, or if that's your only option in many places across the country that Dick's is your only sporting goods option. And then the last thing, when you're buying from an outlet, they're not heavy on the marketing, but they rely on you buying the items because they see that it's, oh, it's discounted. The appeal to buy items for this, the consumer thinks they're getting a steal. They're going to buy them. They're going to be like, man, we got the company this time. This is a steal. What the consumer might not know is that the items that they're buying are usually bottom of the barrel items that the company sells just so they can try to make a profit off of the product nobody wants. The products sold are usually not the company's best products. So how do we beat these strategies established by the companies above? Some ideas I have is to rely on heavy marketing so we can break through and establish our brand name. Ads on cartoon channels, getting brand deals with YouTube channels that are aimed at kids, uh, get ads in sports magazines and websites. At the same time, we're trying to sell things at a discounted price, but not want to give an inferior product that might be found in an outlet store. That's just not what, what this company should be about. We also want to make sure that the customers are comfortable with us. We want them to be able to have confidence to order with us year in and year out and have trust in us, and we will deliver a great product. So what we hope happen is that this kid sees the ad and immediately tells his parents, please, mom, let's get this box. It's going to be so cool. And the other thing is that we need to build the word of mouth of the parents to do so. So if this kid gets it, gets the box, so excited, opens it up, and the parent's happy, like, look at all the stuff that we're getting for a discounted price. You know, when they're, they're playing their sports, the parents are going to talk. Parents talk. And that will spread across a team and hopefully jumps to the next team, spreads across the next team. And then you have that established brand. We can really grow that network of customers if we focus on the things that we talked about above. And we're able to grow it through word of mouth, heavy marketing, and just establish the trust in us. That would be the number key, number one key for us. Thank you for enjoying this video and reading the blog. I hope you have a great rest of your day.